process. This can be done on the farm or at a processing plant. The dried beans, now called raw cocoa, are bagged, taken to market, and shipped to chocolate manufacturers worldwide. At the chocolate factory, cocoa beans are inspected and approved as part of a stringent quality control process. All incoming raw materials must be tested before they enter the manufacturing facility to make sure that only wholesome, high-quality ingredients are used to make chocolate. Quality control continues during production, where chocolate samples are carefully analyzed throughout the process. Once the beans pass inspection, they are cleaned and then blended to create just the right flavor. The cocoa beans are roasted in large rotating cylinders for anywhere from 30 minutes to 2 hours. The carefully controlled heat turns the beans a deep brown color as they develop the characteristic aroma of chocolate. As soon as the roasted beans have cooled, a machine removes the shells, leaving only the inner part of the cocoa bean. These bits of cracked beans, called nibs, are now ready for processing. The nibs are conveyed to grinding mills where they are crushed between a series of heavy steel rollers or grinding stones. The friction and pressure liquefy the nibs and create a shiny brown liquid called chocolate liquor, although it has no alcoholic content. The factory can make eating chocolate or cocoa from the chocolate liquor. To make cocoa powder, the chocolate liquor is pumped into giant hydraulic presses that apply about 6,000 pounds per square inch to the liquor. This intense pressure forces out the cocoa butter, which is removed through filters. The cocoa butter will be used to make chocolate. The pressed cake that remains after the cocoa butter is removed can be cooled, pulverized, and sifted into cocoa powder. Cocoa is used to make chocolate milk, chocolate syrup, ice cream, cakes, and other chocolate products. The art of chocolate making requires carefully mixing a variety of ingredients into the chocolate liquor. Milk to make milk chocolate, sugar to sweeten the chocolate liquor, extra cocoa butter for richer flavor and smoother texture and lecithin from soybeans to help the warm chocolate flow easily to form bars and other shapes. The chocolate mixture is then finely ground or refined by passing through a series of heavy rollers set one atop the other. Conching is a flavored development process that can last a few hours to several days depending upon the desired outcome. Heavy rollers swirl continuously through the mixture, kneading the chocolate, developing the complex flavors, and making the chocolate velvety smooth. After conching, the mixture is tempered, a process of carefully cooling the mixture while constantly stirring it. Finally, the liquid chocolate is ready to be poured into molds or used to enrobe or cover candy centers such as nougat, creams, and nuts. The molded or enrobed chocolate products travel through a cooling chamber and then are ready for wrapping and shipment to distributors and retail stores across the country. Chocolate can be a part of any healthy active lifestyle and some of the latest research points to potential health benefits from certain types of cocoa powder and dark chocolate. Chocolate is a complex plant food and it's high in antioxidant compounds called flavonoids. And cocoa powder and dark chocolate are especially rich in these antioxidants. These antioxidants may have protective effects against certain diseases, including heart disease. Over the years, scientists have erased many myths about chocolate. For instance, did you know that chocolate contains very little caffeine? A typical chocolate bar contains about the same amount of caffeine found in a decaffeinated cup of coffee. Does chocolate make children hyperactive? According to medical professionals, sweet foods do not cause hyperactivity. The likely cause of excitability is the excitement of the event at which sweet foods are eaten. What about chocolate and migraine headaches? Again, the research studies conducted on foods and migraines show chocolate is not a significant cause of migraines.
Chocolate also is not a major cause of dental cavities. All foods that contain starch or sugar, including everything from cookies and pretzels to cereal and bread, have the potential to cause cavities. In fact, dental research shows that the naturally occurring vegetable fat in chocolate allows it to clear the teeth faster than other foods, making it less likely to stay in contact with the teeth and cause decay. Chocolate's a fun food, and it certainly can fit into any healthy diet and lifestyle, eaten in moderation. There are no good foods nor bad foods. It's the overall diet that's important. Equally important is physical activity to help us burn the calories we consume and maintain a healthy weight. From the pre-Columbian dawn to the age of exploration, and from the scientific laboratory to modern manufacturing, chocolate has fascinated everyone with a taste for enchantment. Whatever the time, whatever the place, whatever the occasion, if it begins with chocolate, it ends with a smile.